If you're using OneNote, you might be wondering if it's time to switch to Microsoft Loop. And these are three reasons to switch or stay. Microsoft Loop is organized into workspaces that are then broken down into pages and sub pages. Similarly, OneNote is organized by notebooks that are then divided by sections as well as pages and sub pages. Both offer personal notebooks or workspaces as well as integrations within Microsoft Teams, ideal for team collaboration. Aside from these similarities, OneNote has been around for over 20 years. So most of us are familiar with this note-taking app. Whereas with Microsoft Loop, it is a newer app with a modern and minimalistic interface, but it is specifically designed for team collaboration. So let's now take a look at three reasons why you might want to switch to Microsoft Loop or even stay with OneNote. Hi, I'm Amy, let's nerd out. The first reason to switch to Microsoft Loop is that it is specifically designed for collaboration. So for example, you can select specific text within a page and add a comment. You can then mention a team member. And this just means that your conversations and your content live together in one place so that everything is focused and that your team is more productive. Whereas in OneNote, your conversations are going to either need to take place within a Microsoft Teams chat or channel post or with an Outlook. So this creates a disconnect between your conversations and your content, leaving you wondering who said what and where, and ultimately slowing down your team's productivity. The number one reason to stick with OneNote is reliable offline access. So whether you're traveling, meeting clients, or working in low connectivity areas, this means that you can still access your notes without a Wi-Fi connection. Whereas with Microsoft Loop, you do need to have a stable internet connection to access your content. But given the availability of Wi-Fi these days, even on long haul flights, this may not be a deal breaker. The second reason to switch to Microsoft Loop is task and project management. So directly within a loop page, you can add a task list and then you can assign team members tasks. And the best part is that these sync with Microsoft Planner as well as to do. This means that you can manage your tasks and your project content in one area. And in my loop course, we learn how to use the status area to manage a project across a workspace. Whereas in OneNote, we have to do tags or even Outlook tasks but these are really ideal for personal task management and they do not sync with Planner, which is designed for team projects. The second reason to stick with OneNote is freeform note-taking with pages that have a sticky design that mimic having post-it notes that can be freely moved around and with features on the draw tab like highlighters and pens, you can easily mark up your content with a stylus. So this means that you can capture notes and ideas in a way that feels natural and is perfect for visual thinkers. Whereas in Microsoft Loop, it has a linear layout that is designed to specifically help your team organize your content. And although it doesn't have that stylus, it has a powerful feature, which is the forward slash command, where you can then add templates to quickly organize your team's content and ideas. The third reason to switch to Microsoft Loop is that it is built for modern 365 workflows and AI integrations. For example, Loop components can be copied and shared across other 365 apps such as Teams or Outlook, ensuring that your team is always working on the most up-to-date content. While Loop pages also integrate with Teams meeting notes and AI tools such as Copilot Notebooks and Copilot Pages. This means that you have seamless integrations in your modern day workflows, especially as we move into the era of AI. While we can insert a loop component or embed an existing component directly into a OneNote notebook, these components are not native to the OneNote app and are therefore prone to sync issues. This makes loop a more desirable choice if you are looking for that real time collaboration. The third reason to stick with OneNote is traditional productivity features. For example, you can embed an Excel file directly into a OneNote page or even print out a PDF that you can then mark up with your own notes. 
So this means that OneNote supports some of your more traditional workflows, all within a familiar environment. Whereas with Loop, we can embed tables directly into our Loop page and they are dynamic so we can gather insights without leaving the app. But these are not currently associated with an Excel file, nor can we add a PDF printout that we can then mark up. So if you rely on these more traditional methods, then OneNote may be your better option for you at this time. So which tool fits your workflow? If you're ready to start using Loop, then you can download my beginner guide here. And then I recommend this video, which is seven ways on how to use Microsoft Loop in your daily workflows.